consistent with the T1 game plan, which is try to win lane and then win Nasus. The game. <laughs> um, but the, the Nasus shouldn't really come from leading surprise. phase and is a monster late game. Yeah, especially when you're going Grasp, and you're also getting Grasp sacks. And meanwhile, Delight's here, he just flashes in, it's a free kill on a Faker, and now he's able to deny the entry from owner. First Blood will go over to Delight. And that really sets up this entire early game for Amelie oh. Esports. We haven't always able to push the top lane with it. And you know, uh, they are now looking for something. Might find Carry here. Delight is always there, and he's in bot this time around. Carry, he's got the Eclipse, but I don't know if he's got legs to stand on anymore. Down he'll go, which That's actually resets the Dragon a little bit. T1 feeling the pressure now. Viper, here comes the helicopter trying to get somebody out of this one. It will be Carry that is sent flying, and they say thank you for the least. They'll Nessus take that I imagine at this point is sitting at like, what, 150, 200 stacks? Uh, oh. All right, trying to get on top of the Poppy. That's pretty brave, but they have enough damage with the Nidalee just to follow up. But Delight is holding, holding, waiting. He's still got his flash, and he really wants to use it. He is, and then he just dies anyway. <laughs> I really uh, liked how he was holding it and not using it, and then yeah, he used it. Kept holding and it. And then I really didn't like that part. <laughs> Um, okay, nice dodge for Zayus, but he doesn't have his flash, and uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty dead. Uh, one key will get the job done, so how many sports at least are able to trade it back okay, as well? Yes, Nessus pushes fast, but not as fast as a Tristana with five. Ooh. I think the problem is, though, is that HLE trade towers, but also get Herald. So now T1 might feel like they need to get more, more in this situation, but the light is so here. So inside is going to be a menace. There's that Herald you were talking about, Ox. Yeah, won't be able to get the tower, but just put this pressure down. I'm not sure about this. I feel like mid would have been better, but maybe just they just thought they wouldn't find a window there. Now they are looking for Doran. Yeah, he's kind of getting baited into this one, and Faker just going to hop away. Doran now flashes into the T1 jungle. Zeke's <laughs> uh, even trying to get on in there. Doran, one Q away, and oh. nearly takes off Zeus's head as yeah, he will go down to the explosive shot, but that got a little bit spicy. But you know Zeus was just top lane. You know where the Herald went, so... Both the teams are going to fight for it. Doran's taking the long way around. He doesn't have his flash anymore, but here comes the Delight. Oh, it's not going to hit anything, as it's like he was going to be pushed away from that one. So the Drake does go over to their side. There's the clear from the Ziggs, and all of a sudden, T1 get the Drake. Trying to clear the way, but yeah, that is a Sassel the tower. Down it goes! And how life will just stay towards bot side. They get it. They understand. But yeah, I, I just think this is why uh, Ziggs is so good in these cross maps because he's so good at taking towers. They're beginning to believe. We're watching them learn <laughs> Ziggs in real time, guys. They're doing it. Uh, but yeah, so they deny the push on the bot side, slow it down. I don't think they're going to be able to pressure more on the top he's side. Not really in the fight for what it's worth. Zayus is looking to maybe engage with the blast cone as Corky, as now it's just blanking uh, Corky, and there goes the Leona, Mom comes down, they're just trying to zone them away, burst down the dragon, and that they will, they take down the mountain, and now they're so close to this one, Tekka has to flash out of here, they want to take the fight afterwards, but the zoning that is coming in is pretty big, but there's the Leona into it, but Delight is right on top of him, Peanut also gets away, but Viper's still in a lot of trouble, will be taken down, and T1, they're getting resets, they're looking for more, looks like they'll only get the one, and Viper's ulting to create space. Carry aggressive gets Calls to in. And they say, Faker, get over here. We're doing the Baron. Five members of T1 have already started up this objective. They're looking for the turn on to Peanut, who is incredibly tanky. Then Carry now over the wall, taking damage from the Smolder. The follow up is not there, and it's just a free Leona. And the call is not clean on the turn from T1, and they just Eating, lose they get their. Taken down. And if you're fighting into a choke point against the Poppy in particular, uh, it's not going to work as a... a oh, 1v1, uh, a little bit from the Ziggs, and it's just a trade. Yeah, Guma trying to help Especially out. with the light there. That's so difficult for them. There's the TP, and, and it's just 4v5. What do you do except run away as Karia? Owner thinking about getting in there, but it's not going to happen. He throws a spear, runs away. That's Mountain Soul given over to Humble Life Esports. Oh, so hot. They're still on the Baron. Oh, a lot of ults are down here for Humble Life. If, I don't know if that's enough, but T1 is going to try. They're going to send it. We'll see if it works out for them. Peanut is in the pit. The Solar Flare doesn't hit anything, and it oh. goes to Peanut. The steel comes in, and T1. Might just get wiped here. They've got Doran in the front line for Hanwha. He's gonna flash the wall. Down will go Faker in the execution. And even potential for the Penta. It's not gonna happen, but how will I be sports? Win this team fight win, take a massive lead in this game. And
Nexus might not go down, but maybe we can call it a game ender nonetheless. Going to be denied. And Faker's gonna be up, Kuma's gonna be up, but I don't know how much of the base they can keep. They were able to find a really big one. And again, guys, this is for Worlds. World Seed would go over to Hanwha if they win it here. And now they've caught another one as down will go owner. And they're looking to maybe Control end this. of the map. Doran pushing in the side lane. No one going that can to deliver on that. Going to go up against Gen G tomorrow and punch. Try and force something. If they lose triple in here with Eldrin two minutes, the game's over. But they, the, the opportunity is just not there. And they just don't really have an angle as Peanut taking a bit of damage here, but the light just holds up the helicopter. Carry on. They're taking a good route though. They're actually. I don't think they're going to make it in time. We'll see. How can just be They have TP as well. But yeah, it's just the turn from Hanwha and a bit of damage comes in. But the stopwatch. Oh, the six damage is massive actually in that push. But do they have enough to take out Hanwha? Peanut has to flash away, but Viper flashes in. He's getting so low. But Zeus takes him down. Owner and Zeus, the last. T1, but they will not take out Zekka. That will do it. Harbal IV Sports take the 3 1 victory tonight. And we will be denied the repeat T1 Gen G finals. HLE gonna break up this streak. They're gonna go to finals. They're gonna go to Wills. HLE coming strong with a 3 1 victory over T1. These were the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.